All right, we are back. So, after discovering the fact that these quartermastery and cleansing the Commonwealth quests just seem to just go on forever, um, what we're actually going to end up doing is we're just going to go ahead and do Shadow of Steel this episode, see what that's about. So, um, yeah, we're going to go report to Paladin Dance and see what's up with that. So now remember he said that we um he we were supposed to go meet up with someone with him whenever we were ready. To further our introduction into the Brotherhood of Steel and establish our status as a knight. So we left our power armor behind. Just dog meat myself. Oh, we should do a quick little change our guns around. Fix those real quick here. I had to keep pressing the wrong button, looking silly, but All right. There we go. I'm actually a little jealous you get to head out to find these bits of lost tech. Dance? Are you ready to head up to the ship? Why I joined up in the first place. Of course I am. I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Oh, good. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. All right. It is vert bird time. Come on, dog meat. Mind if I go a little faster, will you? Say the entire area that we have not seen or been I to wish yet. Everyone down there believed in our cause, but they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. Yeah, he's, he's rambling on here. But... We're on final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. There's a pirate ship. They'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. How have we not run into the pirate ship yet?
Oh, there's too much for us to do. We are really so barely scratching the surface of this game so far. I will say I'm impressed with the fact that Dogmeat has not leapt from the helicopter yet. be much nicer if they didn't have this white haze over everything. There she is. It's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Freaky. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted, and welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Excuse me, Captain Kells. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> You don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? So much hard asses. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? I'm pretty else? damn sure that's Tuvok. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Good job, boy. Why do you want me 
really take a yardstick, but whatever. Well, let's have at it, folks. Welcome aboard. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst end. Now this will mesh with our itself. railroad duties. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet, to start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Mm. Only a knight? Why not a paladin like Dance? The Brotherhood maintains a strict hierarchy organized by rank. Paladin is several ranks above Knight, and it took Dance many years to achieve that goal. With your continued loyalty to the Brotherhood, I'm certain you can attain the same. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. <clears throat> well... Let's go see what kind of fancy ass armor they give us. Bird docking systems and fusion coolant feeds. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Don't despair, brother. We're here to save the Commonwealth. Well, everybody's the type of knight in this place. I don't feel so special anymore. I'll administer your exam after you've checked in with Dance and Elder Maxim. I'm just, I'm just gonna take some of your things. Don't, don't mind me. You, 
you don't see I'll this administer happening. your exam after you've checked in with Dads and Elder Maxim. This is this is not occurring. Medical report, Knight Captain Cage reporting. I've been working closely with Scribe Naraya, examining some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover the synths that appear completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly advanced. What's becoming apparent is that the Institute is the most technologically gifted enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore exceedingly dangerous. I believe I've turned over all of my data to Lancer Captain Kells, along with my recommendations for developing effective countermeasures for these synths. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much it will help, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us. They're just gonna walk around like- Damn it, Scribe. I told you I didn't want the corners bent. The issues were to be in mint condition. I'm sorry, Proctor, but this is the only limited edition annual we've recovered. Even before the bombs fell, this was the rarest issue. The one where Grognak dies and comes back to life. Yes, Scribe. I've read the 2076 underlaying price guide from cover to cover, so I'm well aware of its past value. The fault for this travesty rests squarely on your shoulders, because you chose to ignore the important lesson I taught you. Which is... Always bag and board. I'm sorry, sir. You're absolutely right. And I promise it will never... I believe we're due for um, a bit of a sir? Oh, What's that red blinking light on your terminal? What? Oh, damn it all! I left it in record mode! Just let me... Man, this guy's got an ultra-rare copy of a... One of the comics somewhere. Bet you we could pickpocket him, he'd have it on him. So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. I'm not trying to be so greedy, but these guys just have stuff lying around everywhere. Paladin dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. So what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Um, all right, sure, let's... Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Going back home, dogmeat. I'd gladly lay down my life. If it keeps humanity oh, from we got a new achievement. The Never go it alone. Feeding the mess all isn't bad. Well, as long as you recruit five separate Don't companions. Smell it before you eat it. All right, so we've completed that shadow quest. Let's do tour of duty. Lancer Captain Kells is one of the finest officers I've ever had the pleasure of serving under. There. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't fix it, I can fix so, it. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Your way a mire. Uh, not what I was expecting. Got it. There it is. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. 
You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see... I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Why are you stuck in the... what? I hardly noticed. Hmm. Can't tell if you're patronizing me or trying to be polite. How about I just forget you mentioned it? Anyway, That's if you need nice. any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. At Victoria, You're brother. missing legs. Come on. If you keep boarding that garbage, you're going to slow us down. Oh, man, you're not going to like the fact that I pick up shit. That's great. Sorry, dance my man, but is this Bay 3? This is. Wow, let's take a look at this. If you run into any sense, shoot to kill. We don't take prisoners. Buff's got some nice. <clears throat> wow. The uh, Brothers Steel Night Paint. Increases strength with all pieces painted. Let me get it. Very nice. Alright. Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, brother. We will put that on later. Let's remember that that's there and that's ours. We just have so much duct tape around here. And copper. And aluminum. This is not ours. All right. If so. you find any technical documents, you should bring them to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. Tegan. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. He's got mini nukes everywhere. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. 
After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, it's even ammo, shady as hell. you just let me know. Excuse me, Proctor Teagan. Remember, come find me when you're done meeting the rest of the crew. Plenty of work if you need it. Alright, I guess we're going back this way. Yeah, I knew to stop by there and check that box. <clears throat> we might have missed out on that duct tape. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Wouldn't vault tex screening process have caught this already? vault tex screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had, or, come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? <laughs> um... Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? What? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many Wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the Wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer. And the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Dr. Quinlan. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics, if it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. 
anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, All right, I well, have more ways to make caps here. To be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. <clears throat> All right, cool. What is left? Oh, Damn no. barrels. Radiation is a twisted sense of humor. What are we to do now, then? Oh, well, there you go. I feel like I get to use a gun. This is not supposed to be where we're supposed to be. A whole lot of stealing. Oh, there it is. Stray radio signals keep pinging the array. Gonna try to filter it out. System deltas at 100%. Secondary deltas standing by. Unless you like up getting you. radiation sick, I'd stay Fair? away from Not that. Fast. Do you want to do it? I don't know. I think you've almost got it. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong, and it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to How awkward. I just realized if we hadn't changed filth. our hair. No. We have a vertebrate and I would have on the same standby, haircut. Fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. All right, so... You know what? Let's run back and I want to go get our new power armor. I just want to wear it. We're a knight. Then we'll get on the vert bird and go go to town on those super mutants. I mean, we may stay in the vert bird the whole time. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Feels like you can take on the world in there, doesn't it? God, all these guys. I wonder if I could go around and just pickpocket all their fusion cores. That's gonna be my option. It's just gonna, that's how I'm gonna get fusion cores. I'm just gonna pickpocket them from every brotherhood. Fighting down there. Having the Pridwin moored above the airport keeps the Brotherhood within striking distance of the city. 
Oh, the trainee. Okay. There's wrecked ships out there. Oh, wow. Those are huge lobsters. Keep them in your sights. Oh wow, the behemoth. Look at that guy. Much rather be fighting him from the vert bird. Primary target down. Look at this thing bleed. I'm gonna find a place to set her down and then hightail it back to the Fredwin for repair. Expected us to get out, but I can take a little bit of damage and save some ammo. And we're on fire. <laughs> okay. Soldier. So, the trick with this mission apparently seems to be just don't get the fuck out of the vert bird. This isn't safe at all. We need to find some cover as soon as possible. Cover from what? We just murdered it. A bit of trash to pick through here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. This is the guy that bitches when I picked up trash before. Alright, sure, whatever. Oh, I guess we did pick up a... There, now we can walk around with a minigun. Of radiation, I can hear the, the slight pings. Oh, let's check the There must be something significant in this area to merit these fortifications. Oh, he had quite a bit on him. Alright, let's come check these uh, the other super mutants that we just, just slaughtered. Just straight up slaughtered. To you, that doesn't seem old. To me, it's an archaeological relic. Yeah, definitely when it's time to do this quest, uh, 
wearing your power armor and just not getting out of the vert bird is the way to go. to walk back like why why can't they just bring the ship back around whatever fine <clears throat> oh my god cannonballs Wow, it counts as ammo. It has zero weight. Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. Yeah, yeah, we're supposed to go inside there, so we'll, we'll swoop around and do that. I'll grab a few more cannonballs. And I'm gonna be really disappointed if at this point now they don't give me a cannon. I mean, you're providing me with cannonballs, you're marking them as ammo, you're giving them no weight, so I'll carry them around. Far from the reality of the normal 68 pound cannonball. What? This Who's area that? seems to be in Someone disarray. I wonder if this is recent. Oh, guess we should pick our new perk. Let's do that real quick. All right. Okay. Oh, we can actually get rank three gun mods. We can do better at hacking and. Go up in armor. Right, we can now scrap circuitry, nuclear material, and fiber optics. Ooh. That is kind of enticing. Those are not usually easy things to find, but. Mm. Want to do more stuff to our armor. We're gonna go up in strength again. Because. Now we can get blacksmith next level. Huh? What's that? Ah! Errant stuff! That sound! What is it? It is somebody walking around in power armor. Let's see about how Night Dance feels about lock picking. If I can pick the lock. Nice. I hear something. You can't hide forever. I kind of walked into this. Gone dark. Nice try. Wounded. Tango, I'm not gonna make this easy for you. Get off. You get off. Damn, lost. Stupid little man. Actually, let's go with her. Ah, 
We don't need typewriters, really. Let's stop picking that up. Remember to watch for the the little hour, little magnifying glasses. Word came down that the army just unloaded the first batch of the uh, M42s this morning. I've only seen the specs of these little beauties on paper. Like Private time. Bertram and I snuck down to take an early look. When I heard that the eggheads were designing a manned portable nuke launcher, I thought they were nuts. But they actually got the damn thing to work. And after seeing the real thing sitting right in front of me, I think they could be just enough to tip the balance of this war in our favor. I mean, can you imagine the look on the enemy's face? When we get dropped into Anchorage carrying these babies, they won't know what hit them. Max on the fridge, all right. Well, I guess we're not really being quiet, so let's try the combat gun. Because really, who are we kidding when we try to get a whispering gun in here? See what's in this door over here. Mind you, I was really not expecting to open that door and find just a gaggle of super mutants standing behind it. And I'm quite sure that gaggle is the proper term for groups of super mutants. Carrying too much gear is tactically dangerous, soldier. Well, why don't you hey, carry something? Need something? Food? Be glad to share the burden. Okay, I just need to drop those. Alright. That's a cool board. We're gonna keep that board, just cuz. Suppressed caliber pipe pistol. Wow. That actually. Hey. Okay, the fire rate's not as good, but okay. I was gonna say it's just because it's not. All right. Yeah. I wonder if I can get a follower to equip a silent weapon. Terminal. General Brock. Improving your power armor. It's always smart to do, General. Alright, so you got two teams working for you. Give me some juicy, you know. I'm reading all your stuff.
Ah, oh, damn it. Perfect. Oh. Permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. All right. Hopefully there's something useful here. Just a bunch of junk. What a waste of time. Booze, but all right, that was that was cool. We got a Batman. Remain and vigilant. This place may appear abandoned, but that doesn't mean we should drop our guard. A boost to our sneaking. We always love boost to our sneaking. behind the podium for when the meetings and the press conferences get tough all right where are we supposed to be going now I guess it's here we'll take that skull I've seen your magic before, Paladin Dance. You'll find your way to me. Look at that. Alright, which direction do we want to go? Let's go here. Looks like it's dead end. Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. There is indeed. There is indeed. Very good, man. You picked up on the fact that the Commonwealth has trash in it. Again, we're kind of just being a little bit more... Risky, or risque, I guess, with our, uh... Get him on there! Oh. What's that? What? Who's there? Why? Is that what you meant? That is a glowing mutant hound. Just stand down! Oh, oh. Really? It's actually a pretty good gun. Send them back to hell! You human! What the hell is shooting us? then let's check the glowing dog here somewhere fortifying leather right leg this one strength and endurance I feel like these guys have these Death claw meat on them. I would much rather get it from them than get it from a death claw. Well, that's it for the area, it seems to be, so let's sweep. Look for anything that we can use. And remember, we're also looking for technical manuals. They don't show up as special, but they do just show up as loot. 
So we now need to be keeping an eye out for them. I don't know if they actually appeared prior to us talking to the Brotherhood guy. And we just never noticed them. But I kind of feel like they, they didn't. I kind of feel like they will now start showing up. A Bravo team. We'll read these. Yep, yep. Solving problems. That's what Bravo Team did. Just ship their family some sand in a can. Okay, well that was story. And we do appreciate good story, so. What was hitting us? It was a missile launcher. Because, of course, the guy had a missile launcher for use in the hallway. Yes. Yeah, I see another technical document. You know, if we had talked to him, he probably would have sent us back in this direction. So, yeah, let's just go run and do that. He is just apt to leave. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. Oh. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man Yay blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric, 
I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Okay, so no. He was not gonna send us. Doesn't it feel good? So we will go look at this last spot on our own then. I want to know what's down here. I mean, to be fair, coming down here did net us two fat boys, two mini nukes. I mean, hmm. all right. Well, I guess nothing. You can't interact with any of these boxes. So we'll head back up, as he said, to the ship. The room here that we missed. Oh no, we just came through this door. Okay. pretty simple. Or do we have to? Then there's everything else. Nothing in between. You should head back to the Pridwin. I'll take care of the shells and the mess. Yeah, we can fast travel. We can't. Oh, wow. Counts as a settlement, it looks like. That's. That's interesting. That has a cool missile launcher. See what happens with this quest line. Come across a dangerous place. We may go ahead and stop here when we turn this in, and we'll pick up on the next video. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. What happens at Fort Strong now? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man warheads to the Prudwin. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location, and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. I like how they in order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon Look at up our disposal. Into my eyes, I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Nice. Will the vertebrate stay and help me fight? I'm afraid I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. A standard transport will have to suffice. 
Of course. Nothing stopping you from using the door gun while in flight. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated, at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Where do I start? I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? What about those energy readings that Paladin Dance's recon team detected? Our scribes are confident that the energy readings are from Institute technology, due to the unusually high frequency. But the source is unknown. We're still detecting them on occasion. But by the time we send a team to investigate, they disappear. Just watch your step. I wouldn't be surprised if the energy reading were caused by some type of institute weapon. Is there anything else? No, I think that's really it. Aren't there any pre-war records about the institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago. So it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. All right. Well, we have communications array. Oh, I don't think I wanted this. I want to go outside. Yeah, so. Hail Knight. All right, so, um. If Dom and Ugly had a child, it'd be a super mutant. We picked up Dance, I think? I don't know if he's still gonna come with us anywhere. But, let's head back to Sanctuary. And um, we will stop the video here. I want to see if Dance shows up with us. But... I mean, I would like to see him again because I gave him a ton of crap. The old for me. And there's our T-45 and our T-60. Very nice. Um, definitely Brotherhood of the Steel look. So, uh, we will stop here. I will do our normals, break things down, get our stuff repaired and ready to go for the next run. And... Not sure. I am not sure what quest to do. Uh, I will look at the data... and see what's next. Um... I'll see if I can find Vance, or Dance, sorry. I'll see if I can find Dance at some point as well. But other than that, uh, that's it for this run. And we will see you on the next mission.